Hi, it's Chris. With all this ice and snow to shovel, my neck stiff, my shoulders hurt, my back hurts, but I have an idea. Hey, this is Sue, and I'm sporting this nice warm neck warmer. I found some nice green fleece material up at Joanne Fabrics. I picked up these polyamide panels on Amazon. These are 24 volt ones. And I did some experiments with one, two, and three of them in series. And I feel a little bit like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It turned out uh, one of them, just with one, it was too hot. And with three, it was too cold. But with two, it was just right. So that's what I went with. They say that you want the heat to be between 140 degrees Fahrenheit and 160 degrees Fahrenheit. There's no polarity on these, but I'm going to solder them together. I'm just using some uh, project wire here. And then I put, I'm going to put heat shrink on them. I've got my 3D print cap with a Ryobi clip in it. That's some female disconnects. I'm just going to crimp these connectors on. There's no polarity, so I can just put these on. I'm just going to test it here quick and I can see that it's the battery's at 20 volts and it's drawing 10 watts, which is good. I've got my nice fabric. It's uh, off a 36 inch bolt and I'm going to mark off 8 inches in and cut it off. If you don't sew or don't have a sewing machine, you can also do this project with liquid stitch. It'll just take a little bit longer because you have to let it dry for about 24 hours. The plan is to fold this over to make a pocket. But first I need to put the polyamide uh, pads and make some pockets here. So I'm just going to trace the where these polyamide pads are going to go. So the center of this is 18 inches in. And I'm going to sew this piece of material to the other side. And that will make pockets that I can slide these into. So it's not too snug. I'm going to have the foot run along the line here. I'm going to sew a seam across here to to keep the two sides separated. Now that everything's been tested, I can just insert these into the pockets. I want them to face outwards. I've used some electrical tape just to straighten up the bundle a little bit. And then I also tied a knot down here at the end. We want the wire to, long, to run along where the seat, where the fold is, so we can sew without hitting it. I'm going to sew around this corner you know, all the way down the seam here.
Now that we've got the piece sewn all together, I want to put Velcro to hold it so when it's around your neck. So I'm going to sew it on like that. I've got the Velcro attached now so you can keep it attached around your neck easier. Finally, I'm going to use my Ryobi hot glue gun here and put, the, put a label on. If you want to give the neck warmers some more heft, you can fill it with beans. It's all different, you can use different sizes. I just opened up the seam in the side here where the, on the opposite end of the electronics then I made a paper funnel and I'm just going to pour the beans in. I filled it with two bags of beans. Now that I put the beans in it I'm just going to uh, sew the seam back. I've made two different heated scarves one I left empty and one I filled with beans. They both run off the 18 volt Ryobi batteries. And you could use the same concept to make other heating pads too. I checked the temperature after it had been running for a while. It was about 145 degrees Fahrenheit and the ambient room temperature was around 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Well I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day. Mm -hmm.